Have you ever wondered if this whole idea of manifesting is nothing more than just a scam? Trying to trick people into paying money for courses, audio programs, and coaching, and keep them coming back for more, keep wanting more, wanting more, wanting more, spending more money, when the whole idea is just coincidence? Have you ever wondered that? I know I definitely did. And over the course of my life, I have learned so many different things in connection with this idea of manifesting. There is the idea of just praying to some divine God off in the heavens, asking for what you want, and hoping that this God hears your prayers, deems you worthy enough to answer those prayers, and to rearrange events on this planet so that we get what we want. There was that idea. I tried that quite a few times, didn't get any results from it. There's this old idea of wish upon the first star of the night. Twink, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. I don't even remember the thing of it, but I remember <laughs> that as a kid, I recited that prayer over and over and over again. Wish I may, wish I might, wish the wish I wish tonight. Tried that for months. Didn't get a single result from it. There's the idea of picking a four-leaf clover. And if you find a four-leaf clover, you can wish for whatever it is that you want, and it will happen. That didn't work for me either. I tried so many different things. Then there's the idea of calling upon the angels using a long-forgotten language. And no, that didn't work either. There's the idea of ceremonial magic working with glyphs and symbols and drawing circles on the floor and calling out arcane words and phrases to command the forces of the universe to do your bidding. Nope, that didn't work either. The idea of using crystals to send your thought energy out into the world to accomplish a goal or burn candles of a different color or incense or use oils, pyramids, I did think that I started to feel something when working with crystals because that made sense to my logical mind that crystals were built in a certain way that channeled energy because if you shine a light through it, you can see that energy of light being redirected in different ways. So that made sense to me and I started to see some results with that. But I really didn't start seeing great results until I gave up on all of that. And, well, I'll get to that story in a little bit later. Right now, let's define what it is that we're talking about in regards to manifesting, because even though I think it might be clear from what I've said, I don't want to leave any chance of miscommunication. Because when you really get down to it, to define the word manifesting, manifesting just simply means to make something happen, to create a result based on an intended outcome. And by that definition, if you're hungry and you go down to the kitchen and make yourself a sandwich, you have, by definition, manifested lunch. Now, there's nothing special about that, though. So the type of manifesting that I'm talking about goes beyond just taking physical action to make something happen. What I'm talking about and what a lot of people who talk about manifesting are referring to is accessing non-physical forces and directing those forces through some act of consciousness to accomplish a goal for you without your physical involvement. Or at least that's the ideal. A lot of people also say that you can't just sit back and, and wait for the manifestation to happen and say, okay, the ball's in your court, do it for me. <laughs> they say that you have to be active. You have to be involved. And I will say that based on my experience, it does work better when you're involved. 
But I've also seen cases, situations, where you don't have to be involved. In fact, one of the big examples that I often use is that for whatever reason, and I can get into this later in more detail, but for whatever reason, I have developed this ability to decide what type of weather I want and get it. I mean, if we're planning an outdoor picnic on the weekend and we want to make sure it's sunny and warm, but the weather prediction is for rain and cold, and the weather prediction is consistent for a period of time around, around that date, quite often I can say, okay, I don't care what the weather prediction is. I'm going to choose that this is going to be a good day for a picnic. I'm visualizing sunny skies. I'm visualizing dry grass. I'm visualizing a wonderful experience. And nine times out of 10, I get exactly what I'm looking for. It's kind of interesting how well it works sometimes. But getting back on topic, um, this whole idea of manifesting, it seems like there are so many people talking about how it works for them and it works for them. And, and you might get on a forum or a blog or a YouTube channel and read comment after comment after comment of people saying, yes, this worked, yes, this worked, yes, this worked, yes, this worked. And yet when you try it, it doesn't really work that way. And I know how it feels to think that you're following the instructions exactly. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm following all those instructions exactly, but it's just not working for me. I understand that. And what gets even more confusing with this is because there are so many people that say, oh, well, you just do these three steps and, and it's easy. You don't even have to think about it. And what's really interesting is the people who say, you know what? The system that I'm offering you, the system that I'm here to teach you, it works whether you believe in it or not. You don't have to, it doesn't matter what you believe. Just do these things, it's going to work. And you do those things and it doesn't work. So what's up with that? And that's why we can sometimes get into this idea that, well, maybe it's all just a scam. Maybe they're lying to me just to keep, get me to keep paying the money to go from basic course to advanced course to coaching and keep escalating. Well, I'm not here to sell you anything, at least not now. I do have a membership that you're welcome to join, but I'm not here to promote that. What I'm here to do is to offer you some ideas about what manifesting is, how it works, how you can do it, and how you can develop the ability to get consistently reliable results every single time. It's not easy. It does take work. And that's the thing that creates the problem because the people selling the systems, the courses, the coaching, they want you to believe that, oh, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. And to give them the benefit of the doubt and to point out where they are right, if you believe that it's easy, then it will be easier than it would be if you believed that it was hard. So there is some, I won't really say smoke screening going on. There won't, I won't really say that there's a lot of misrepresentation going on there, but there is a little bit of a nudge that if you can believe that this is real, if you can believe that it's easy, if you can believe that you're going to get good results, guess what? Your belief is one of the primary factors that determines how well it's going to work for you. So the more you believe that it's going to work for you, the better it's going to work. And that is where a lot of systems fall down because they try to sidestep that issue. They tell you it's going to work whether you believe in it or not, because by telling you that, most people start to believe that it's going to work regardless of what else they may be thinking. And as long as you can believe that it's going to work, 
it will work for you to some degree. So the bottom line is that through the experience that I've had in my life, and I struggled with manifesting for a lot of years. I tried affirmations, I tried visualizations, I tried the crystals, I tried calling upon the angels, I tried everything. And I eventually figured out the patterns that made it work, the principles that make it work. And in this series of videos, I'm going to share with you those principles, those patterns, and how you can make manifesting work for you. So hopefully I've answered the question about whether or not this is all a scam. It's not a scam. It does work. But it does take work to make it work. In the next video, I'm going to share with you my story and some of the things that I did to learn manifesting and some of the results that I was able to get with it. And there's value in hearing stories about what other people have been able to do because that was one of the things that really helped me, hearing more and more stories of people who had successful results. Because every time we hear a story about someone who had a successful result, it helps us to believe that, yes, this stuff does work. So in the next video, I'll share with you my story, and then we'll go from there. Until next time, be blessed, my friend.